In this video, we're gonna guide you through the process that's required to set up the ERM before you mount it on the bike. So what we need is the ERM and the supplied USB cable that came in the ERM box. Uh, plug the USB cable into your computer, uh, connect it to the ERM and the ERM will power up and you'll see this, uh, this initial screen that's titled Getting Started. If you scroll down to the bottom of that screen, you'll see a device ID and a verification number listed on that screen. You're going to need to reference those two details uh, in the next few minutes. So now we need to go to the computer, uh, open a browser window and navigate to erm-performance.com. Once you're there, press login. If you haven't already created an account, press create an account down the bottom and follow the prompts. You will need to respond to the activation email that you receive. Once you have set up your account, enter your username and password and press login. So once you've logged in, it will take you to the My Devices page. For most ERM users, there won't be any ERMs listed here, but for some people, there may be several, depending on how many devices you own. So what we need to do first is uh, register the ERM. So scroll to the bottom and press add new device. Then we need to enter the device ID. When you enter the device ID, you can leave out the dashes in the device ID. They will automatically be added in and then enter the verification code as well. Once you've entered both, press verify. And you should receive this green message saying that the device has been verified and you can now proceed to enter the information about the make, uh, model and year of the bike. So in this case, we're going to register a uh, KTM uh, 250 EXC TBI, which is a 2024 model. Once the details here are correct, press save. Again, another green message, device setup complete, return to My Devices. So I'll click that link and it will take us back to the My Devices page. And if we scroll down here, this is the device that we have just registered there. Now, as I said before, for most people, there will only be a single device. Uh, so the first thing to do is go to the Tunes tab. This will show you a, a list of available tunes for the make, model and year of bike that you uh, chose before. Uh, for this particular bike, uh, there's only one tune available as a 250. The tunes below here are for this 250 bike if it's been converted to a 300. So going back up here, have a look at the version notes, make sure uh, the tune is the tune that you would like uh, and press uh, activate for free. Now, when you first register an ERM, the first tune that you download uh, is free of charge. So we'll press that button there. So once we've pressed activate, you now see a download window. Press download, you'll see we receive a notification at the top right corner of the screen. Uh, and if I click on that, we can go to the folder where it, where it has been saved to. In this case, it's gone straight to the downloads folder on the computer. Uh, make sure you take note of where this file uh, is saved to uh, because you will need to access it again later on. So um, now we can go back to my devices now that we've selected our tune. Again, find the ERM that we're registering down here. Go to additional features. This is where you would either select pro mode, uh, pro plus mode, uh, or an ERM reset uh, in time. So uh, in this case, um, this particular ERM already has pro mode activated, but if we did want to activate that, we would um, uh, press purchase uh, and then follow the payment prompts. Now, once you've completed any activation uh, purchases or any additional feature purchases, you can then go back to My Devices again. Once again, find the ERM that we're working with and then press Device Info. 
So this tells you, uh, this page tells you a bit of information about the bike. This is the bike that we uh, registered earlier. Uh, tells you who it's registered to, and we can also input a name. So we're going to call this one TSP KTM 250 EXC TBI, uh, and I'll press save. And then finally, we're going to download the registration file. So again, we receive a notification in the top right corner. We can go to that folder. Uh, it's saved down here. Uh, and once again, it's been saved to the downloads folder. So we go back to my devices. If we scroll down, we can now see that that name that we gave this ERM has now appeared uh, beside the make model and the device ID. Now the next step is to go to software downloads and download the latest version of ERM manager. So uh, in this case, we're gonna use the Windows version, which is down the bottom. Uh, you can also choose a Mac version if you're using a Mac. So we're gonna choose this Windows version and we're going to press download. Again, we receive another notification on the top right corner of the screen and that will be saving a copy of the ERM manager installation files again to our downloads folder. So that's, that's been saved in the same location as our tune and as our registration file. So now that we have our tune, any additional extras that you may wanna purchase, our registration file, and then also the uh, setup file for ERM manager software, uh, we can log out uh, of the ERM website and then uh, in a separate video, we will run through how to set up ERM Manager and go through the process of um, setting up and preparing the ERM to be connected to an ECU on the bike.